I want to put this in perspective for people where Robert is right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rainfall that occurred uh, out in Kerr County where Robert is his hunt. So that's right here. You can see yesterday up to a foot of radar estimated rain fell right along Highway 39, which essentially hugs the Guadalupe River. Here you can see Camp Mystic. Camp La Junta, and then again out toward Ingram. So this much rain in a short period of time resulted in devastating flooding for these areas. Take a look at what happened to the Guadalupe River in a matter of hours. Uh, the Guadalupe at Hunt crested at 29 feet at 435 in the morning yesterday. Then the floodwaters made it just 10 minutes later to uh, the gauge at Kerrville, where it crested in major flood stage at 23 feet. Uh, throughout the rest of the morning, it made it to center point at 715, cresting at 21, and then to comfort just before midday, cresting at 35 feet. Then following all of these bends in the river in Kendall County, the water built up quite a bit. And by the time the floodwaters reached Ammons Crossing there nearer to Bergheim, it was 715 in the evening and it cr uh, crested at 50 feet before eventually making it to Spring Branch early this morning. Just about an hour ago, it crest at 29 feet in Spring Branch. The good news is all of this water is flowing into Canyon Lake. Canyon Lake is only 40 some odd percent full, so it can take all of the water without folks having to worry about it being released downstream toward New Braunfels. So that is good news there. And more good news is that we are starting to see the river recede everywhere and flooding is no longer a concern along the Guadalupe River. Now we can see uh, rescue efforts, recovery efforts being made in full as we approach the light of day.